This is usability of a newly designed exergame game and connected sensor for the treatment of women's geriatric incontinence. This project was funded by the Canadian Institute of Health Research and the Swiss Confederation of Research Agency. Geriatric urinary incontinence is often related to impaired mobility, balance, and cognitive deficit. We develop a geriatric rehabilitation exergame using wearable sensors and a web-based interface. This study aimed to assess the usability of this newly designed exergame and wearable sensors. These are the foot and intravaginal sensors. So on the left, you can see the foot sensor, which will monitor the movement of the lower limb forward, backward, lateral, laterally, and which will influence the movement of the avatar in the game. On the right, you can see the dynamometers, the vaginal sensor, which actually monitors uh, the contraction of the pelvic floor and will inform um, the participant of their contraction in the game. This is the actual exer game. You can see on the left the participant standing in front of the computer screen and you can see inside the avatar that will have to move throughout the game by movement of the leg of the participant. On the right, you can appreciate the five uh, sub-game of the Exer game, and games aim at improving cognition, balance, mobility, lower limb strength, and reducing urinary incontinence, or training the pelvic floor muscle. This is the library game, which is the actual game that we play to improve or to reduce incontinence. Um, it combines movement of the lower limb, which is, uh, you can see here, the avatar would have to move to the left to get the book so that the book would not fall. Um, and on the right, you can see that the participant would also have during that game to contract the pelvic floor when asked by the avatar. And we could see the information from the contraction of the pelvic floor through the dynamometer on the screen of the game. So this was the first evaluation loop of an interactive design approach. The population was older women with mixed or urgent continence as defined by the quid. Uh, to be included, women had to be 65 years and older, having more than three incontinence episodes a week or three incontinence episodes a week being able to contract their pelvic floor muscle, able to maintain a standing position for at least 30 minutes without assistance, and possessing sufficient visual equity to view the game on the television screen. So initially in the experimental phase, we did uh, assessment of the demographic, the cognitive function with the MOCA, physical performance with the SPPB and urinary incontinence using the quid. As for the experimentation, we did the usability assessment first by um, the placement of the intravaginal and foot sensors, and then the, the game was played for 30 minutes. And throughout the game, there was qualitative assessment of acceptability and game experience. Following the Exer game, women completed the system usability scale uh, and a semi-structured in-depth interview to document the usability based on their personal experience. As for analysis, the qualitative data were coded and analyzed. Now for the results. Between February and October 2020, 10 women participated in the study five from Canada and five from Switzerland. Unfortunately, be because of COVID, uh, we had a few uh, less participants uh, in our study. However, 10 women for a usability study is uh, actually good. So the system usability score was 67%, which is marginally high. 
And for the qualitative data, the analysis reveals six main themes. First of all, overall experience. All participants like the Exer game and experience joy, fun, happiness while playing the game. The game environment, 70% of the participants appreciated the overall platform design using words such as motivating and entertaining. As for game interaction, 40% of the participants had difficulties uh, understanding the game instruction and needed additional explanation from the physiotherapist. Sensor usability, the foot sensor uh, were accepted by all. As for the vaginal sensor, 70% of the women appreciated the feedback given by the vaginal sensor, but 40% reported discomfort, and of those, two reported displacement. As for training intensity, most participate, participants stated the game were of low to adequate intensity. Most reported that the game required concentration, particularly the game where both foot and vaginal sensor were to be used. And the exer game session was rated as good. Risk and limitation, only one participant reported fear of falling when stepping backward. So in conclusion, the Vital Exer game was deemed acceptable by study participant and game instruction and sensor improvement will be studied in the next evaluation loop of collaborative design. Thank you for your attention.